Yes, indeed, we are here in the section that we are going to add just a couple of class names to get a little better styling than what we have right now. We're going to do it quickly because I don't want to spend too much time on it. You can spend as much time as you like. All right, so we are going to use the semantic UI, as I like to do, and I would like you to do to get the hang of it. So let's flip back over to our browser and search for semantic CDN. And it's right here, so I'll click on that link, press Command or Control F, and search for semantic.min.css. All right, so copy that link and go back inside of our code editor. We're going to open index HTML file, and we're going to create a link tag and put it inside this link tag like so. All right, so remember to close this tag and save and close the file. Great. Now you might be able to recognize some of these steps, but here we are, we're ready to add some styling. So I'm gonna find my search input component and then the outside div right here. I'm going to give it a class name of UI segment. And then I will give the form class name uh, UI form. Now under this form element, I will open up another div with a class name field. And again, inside of it, I will put another div with a class name UI massive icon input. And I'm going to cut my input and then place it inside of this div. And I want to give my input a placeholder search, just like this. Now, finally, just underneath the input, I'm going to add an icon and give it a class name of search icon, like so. And the last touch that I want to do is inside of the app.js file, this div, which is wrapping our search input component, I will give it a class name of UI container. And I want to give it a little bit of a margin at the top. So I'll say margin top 30 pixels. Now I can just save this file and flip back to the browser, see what it looks like. Looks pretty good. <laughs> All right, so that's enough for now. Let's take a break right here.